Yes, let's change the speedo gear in my transmission because it's wrong now. Let's get to it. There it is. That's a 66727. It's got the slip yoke. Um, it's got the 19 spline um, converter. So it's the old school style. I think the other ones are 24, the better ones uh, from 67 on, but this one ain't. So it started slipping in third gear, so I took it out, found someone with a 1970, and I bought it from him, and it's working in the Monaco. Yep. So um, we're gonna pull out the gear that's in that one, which is probably for 323s, and put this one, which just so happens to be for roughly 276 gears into uh, my tranny. Yep. Stick around. Okay, so Milwaukee, take this into account. Very nice, too heavy, not useful for hauling butt and doing a lot of mechanics. You should have drilled that out lighter, but it'd be nicer for me. So I already broke that loose. Like I said, 1966. I drove it 50,000 miles. And then the 440 started slipping third gear at high torque. This is going to be gear for roughly 276ers. I don't think I had that out yet. <laughs> I hadn't. I don't think. Ooh. Worn out uh, clutch pieces. Maybe. Looks like it. Look at that little gear. That is for... That is for uh, very tall gears. So it spins faster. So your speedometer spins faster. Because the wheels or the tranny spin in slow. Because you got... 276s or 294s or not 323s so what do we got in here yeah glasses no those don't work <laughs> i can't see what that is we're gonna ah this video is gonna be too long right uh anyway maybe you can see what number gears those are possibly So I'm going to swap it with what's in the car now. Because it's the same crapola. Ooh. Isn't it cool looking at stuff? Check this out. Ah. It's just neat. If you're a gearhead, that kind of stuff's fun. I suppose. Yep. So I got my Saturday morning driving the F out of my car clothes on. So I got to crawl under the beast. And I'm going to get a little dirty. So I got this. And these are going to go on and then I can crawl around and get dirty and not get these dirty. Know what I'm saying? Yep. Man, today is what you would call freaking awesome. Clouds and stuff. Anyway, that's what came out of the car and it looks like it's a looks like it's a Ah, I still can't freaking read. Looks like it says 20. Oh, yeah, drop it on the ground and get all crappy. Anyway. So, anyway, I'll show you a little more later. Okay, put some readers on. So, that says 30 teeth. And what I got right here in my hot little pocket is 26 teeth. Oh, shit. Is it gonna work? Shit. I don't know. Good question. Maybe. They kinda look the same, don't they? Shit. I think so. Although when I dropped it, or dropped that one, no, I dropped this one. Like a dip shit. Yeah, look at that. Dumbass. All right. Pretty. Hey. Yep. Fun stuff. 
So what you got to do is line up the number of teeth written on there to the dot on there. This one's 30 teeth and it says 26 through 31 to that freaking dot there, I guess. Supposedly. Isn't this fun? Mm-hmm. Here we go. I'm gonna go drive this thing fast. I don't want no fast I'm going. So that's back to be rebuilt someday or sold. Yep. So here we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's up in there. Up in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, light suckage. Because we got reflections and stuff. See if you can see any of that. We're gonna put some grease. Sorry about the backlighting, you know. What you gonna do? You're gonna get what you're gonna get and you're gonna like it. Okay, so we got uh, 26 teeth this time. What we see here, 26 to 31, same old shenanigans, right? Where's that little dot? One-handed. Yep, so... There we go. Same thing. I think it's the same thing. Yep, 2631 right there. Turn it. Set up the dot. Grab the little doodad forky thingy. There she goes. You know, nothing drips, so we'll see if we can cut off some of that gnarly light. Here we go. You know what? Someone put together my transmission cooler lines with a uh, compression fitting, and it's, it's leaking just a tad. Losers. I guess I'm a loser, too. We're all losers. Right, D.D.? Some of us are. Yeah, that should be up to snuff. Back to 276 gears. Righto. Here's my ultra heavy Milwaukee. Awesome freaking wrenchy thing. Okay. Can't have that too tight because when this uh, pressurizes back on my Speedo, it jams it up. I gotta shorten the cable even a little bit more. But if the cable ain't got no slack, uh, it, uh, when it gets warm, it pushes into my speedometer um, dial in the back and it jams up the needle. Yup, there you go. You love it. Mm. That's what you like and you'll like it, won't you? Mm-hmm. I think you will. Driving classic cars into the future and fast, too.